Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the photo books from the photo book shop. So I've got quite a few photo books here and these are from a shop called the photo book shop. They are located in Australia if you haven't heard of them before and they have a vast range of photo gifts and photo books and so on. So when you go to the photo book shop website you'll see that they have hundreds and hundreds of products. They have things like chopping boards, pillows, phone cases, puzzles, uh, canvases, wall art, you know, anything you can put your photo on and obviously they have quite a big range of photo books as well. As always I'm going to focus on the photo book range today and I have quite a few from each type so I can show you what they are, how they look, what the quality is like, what the editor is like and how to make them. So the photo book range divides into three main categories. You've got the standard books, you've got standard lay flat and you've got pro lay flat. So let me show you this book first, that's the standard one and this is the large landscape size. I'm going to give you a quick flip through but sorry if the microphone is giving some weird noises. I'm going to hold it quite high up to keep it in the frame. So it's an image rep hardcover and these are photos from my recent trip to Lanzarote. And that's just some of the layouts from the book. Hopefully you can see them. I've got quite little space around with the white background, but I thought it looks a bit better. So that's the sort of layout you get. Obviously I'm going to show you the book in an up close shot footage very soon. So anyway, that's the standard book. It comes with an image rep hardcover and it's perfect bound as you can see, so it doesn't open completely flat. Uh, and the editor has lots of themes that you can choose from, but again, a bit more about that later. And the second option is going to be the standard lay flat. Obviously this book is the same, but I purposely wanted to create two books which are the same inside but on different specifications so I can show you the difference in the paper and the binding. So this one on the other hand is lay flat, but as you can see, it is hinged so you see a slight break in the middle because the pages are attached to the hinge. So it does stay fully flat as you can see, but it's not printed on continuous double sheets. So this is the cheaper option from the two lay flat uh, books and these come in the same sizes as the standard books. So when you edit any of these books, you can uh, select whether you want lay flat hinged pages or a standard page in the final uh, checkout process. And the nicest photo book in the range is the Pro Lay Flat. Now, as the name says, it's professional and that usually means that it's printed using a silver halide method. So this one, instantly you can see that the colors look a bit more natural and they're going to be a bit um, closer to what you see on your computer screen. And these are photos from Philadelphia. And what I noticed about this book, interestingly, is that it's not as vivid as the standard books. So that could be due to the paper option that I chose in this one, which is a lustrous paper option, but it could also be due to a printing setup or a print profile. I don't know, but uh, it's just slightly less vibrant than the standard books. Now I'm going to go into my up close shot and show you the cover, paper, binding, printing, and the editing process for all of these books, what you can choose, how much is it and uh, how it looks. Right, so let's start with the sizes. The standard book, which is this one, the perfect bound one, comes in the following sizes. 20 by 20 centimeters, which is this one. 22 by 28 centimeters, A4 landscape, A4 portrait, 26 by 33 centimeters, which is that one there, and 30 by 30 centimeters, so a large square, which is roughly that size. The standard lay flat books come in 22 by 28 centimeters, 26 by 33 centimeters, and 30 by 30 centimeters. And finally, the photographic book, the Pro Lay Flat, comes in 4 by 4 inches, 6 by 6 inches, 6 by 8 inches, 8 by 8 inches, 8 by 11 inches. 10 by 10 inches, 11 by 14 inches, and 12 by 12 inches. So a lot of sizes. And the one here that you can see is the 11 by 14 inches large landscape. So that's the size compared to my hand. Now let's move on to the cover options. Every single book comes with an image rep hardcover. And by that, I mean that the cover is fully personalized front and back. So on the front, you have lots of templates to choose from like this one here and on the back you will see the photo book shop logo and the barcode 
which you can have removed for $10. These are some of the layouts that I found for the cover. So that was one of them and that's how it looks on the back. And that was just a panoramic photo all across two pages. So the same photo back in front. The smaller sizes can come with a soft cover as well, not just hard cover. So that's the soft cover. It's very shiny, very pretty, but obviously it's not hard cover and it's not going to last as long. The hard cover ones can either come in a gloss or a matte finish. Now you can see this one is the glossy. So that's how it looks, the shine. And here is the same cover with a matte finish. So a lot less shine and it feels a little bit smoother and here are the two next to each other. Let's move on to the binding process. So if you go for um, a soft cover book, it will be saddle stitched. If you look in the middle, it's going to be stapled there. So it's printed as double sheets, which is actually almost like a lay flat book, but obviously it's not hardcover. And if you start paging through, you can kind of make it lay flat and nothing is gonna get lost in the middle because that's how saddle stitch works just a few pages from this book so I can show it to you. You can obviously see the layout uh, from the editor. This was the travel theme that I chose for the standard books. I love these backgrounds. I just wish there were a bit more of them in the editor. And there we go. The other standard binding is the standard perfect bound, which is in the hardcover books. And that means that the pages are stuck together at the spine, so they look like that. And these books, on the other hand, as you can see, do not stay open because of the binding process, how they are stuck together at the spine. And that's how it pages. So you can see, not a lot is getting lost in the middle, but you can't really force it open because it would break the book. And if you have double page shots like this one, it's not always ideal. I mean, most books in the shops are printed like this anyway, but for photo books nowadays, it's good to have lay flat for the panoramic shots. And let me show you now the standard lay flat. So it's going to be a hinged version. So that's the same book, but now you'll instantly see that it stays fully flat, but there is a little break in the middle. So here you can see the hinge. And the book is printed in a way that the pages are still double-sided, but they are attached to the hinge in the middle, and that's keeping the book completely flat and obviously the pages together at the spine. This is how it looks at the top. So you can see the little hinges there. And then if I put the two next to each other, then you can see this one stays fully flat and this one doesn't. So that's the difference between the standard and the standard hinged lay flat. So the last one we've got is the Pro Lay Flat, which is printed as double spreads, which means that the pages or the spreads are stuck together and it creates a continuous flow of images. So it stays fully flat and there's nothing getting lost in the middle and there's no break anywhere. So that's the best um, binding option if you want to use lots of double page spreads like this one because it all stays nicely in flow without any breaks anywhere. It pages beautifully. The pages are obviously a lot thicker here, but I'm going to talk about that in a second. And just a few more pages from here. Again, you can see a double page photo and it continues nicely onto the second page. Right, so that's all about the binding. Let's move on to the paper options. The paper used in the standard books is a 170 GSM silky paper. So very, very similar to most other photo book papers of this price range, but this one is a little bit thicker because the average is usually around 148 GSM and this one is 170. So it feels a little bit thicker, which always makes the books nicer. The page has a silky finish. It's quite glossy actually, as you can see. It's completely smooth and has a very nice feel to it just a close up. If you go for the standard lay flat though, it's going to be even thicker. It's going to be 216 GSM and it has the same glossy silky finish. Finally, the last one, which is the Pro Lay Flat Book. 
Obviously, it's a silver halide book, so it's going to use a genuine photographic paper. And in this case, they're using a Fujifilm lustrous photographic paper, which is 440 GSM when stuck together. So it's really thick and really sturdy. And the finish is beautiful. It's lustrous. Hopefully you can see that. It has a very, very nice pearly texture, a subtle gloss. I would say it's definitely less shiny than the standard paper, the silky paper and it has the lustrous uh, quality. I'm going to post a picture here so you can see it uh, in a more up close shot as well. Now let's move on to the printing process. I was very, very happy with the print quality of these books, especially the standard ones. If you have a look at this book, it's extremely vibrant. It's very, very colorful and um, well contrasted. It's not too faint, it's not too dark. I actually really like the colors, how they came out in this book. You can see it's very sharp, very nice and dynamic. The only thing you need to know about the standard printing process is using an indigo printer and that's obviously going to have little dots just like in any other digital photo book and hopefully you can see it here. So the picture is made up of tiny dots. I'm going to post the picture again so you can see it better. And now let me show you the Pro because it uses a different printer. So the professional book, since it's a silver halide book, it's going to be printed using a chemical method, which means that the colors are not printed using dye, but light. So it's a more continuous tone transition. It's much better for skin tones, very good with nature photography and anything that requires natural colors. So here is an example of this photo. You can see there is no dot structure anywhere. It's just a continuous smooth tone. The only thing I noticed about the silver halide is that it's just a tiny bit less vibrant than the standard books. When I look at this page, I was expecting these flowers to be a bit more popping um, because they are nice and pink and purple. For some reason, it's just a little bit more subtle than what I was expecting. I'm not sure if it's because I was using the lustrous paper because you also have uh, a gloss finish version for this. So anyway, for the next project, I definitely will choose um, a high gloss paper for the Pro Lay Flat as well, because I think it's going to make the colors a lot nicer and the picture just a bit more dynamic. The last and final thing to talk about is the editor. I've already showed you the main templates used in these books by flicking through them. And now I'm going to talk a little bit more about what you can do in the editor, how it works and so on. So the two basic methods are using the online editor if you don't want to download a huge file or if you don't mind that you can download the editor onto your computer and use it without an internet connection and in the very end you can upload the photo and the project when you do the checkout process. I was using the offline editor and it had around six, seven themes and I was expecting a few more themes but the ones there were really funky looking like if you have a look at this book all of these themes are really creative, lots of elements, you have lots of masks like this one which makes the photo uh, look like it's been torn out. You can have lots of frames, lots of background textures and photos. You can obviously move things around on the page. You have elements, little stamps and things like that. So there's a lot to add to the photo books to make it creative. When you start the editor it's going to ask you what kind of book you want to do and you have to select the size and the type and then it's going to come up with a set of templates. When you choose the template, there is a blank one and there are a few other ones. If you use the online editor, it's going to be very similar to the Photobook Worldwide editor. I think it must be the same company that they license it from. I don't know, I'm just guessing because I've seen this editor with a few other companies as well. Um, so the content is not the same, but the actual layout of the editor and the look of it is the exact same. So it's a little bit different to the one that you download, but it's just as straightforward, but you've got the menu on the top and you have to select the book before you start and it's going to give you pricing and you can choose the size. Whilst in the downloadable editor, you don't get the pricing in the beginning. When you've finished your book, you have to go into the uh, checkout process and that's where you can go for the upgrades. That's where you can uh, select a glossy finish, um, a matte cover, that's when you can select the lay flat pages and so on. So delivery, the book obviously came from Australia, I stay in the UK so it took two, three weeks to get it with standard delivery. Uh, I think that's okay uh, given that it came from the other side of the world. There are two or three um, delivery options, the standard one is 
six pounds 95 and there is an express one which is 19 95 pounds that's going to get your books much faster if you need them the full price of these books i'm going to give you one of them because i have quite a few there as you could see the full price of the large landscape 33 by 26 centimeters hardcover on standard paper photo book is 44 pounds and 95 pence this is obviously without any discounts at all now deals the company offers regular deals right now there is a huge discount going on at the website some of the books are up to 80 six percent off so you can get a huge huge value discount if you order your books now i don't know when it's finishing you have to check on the website so use the discount while it's there it's a very good value for the books that you get and now the final thoughts uh, the pros and cons of the books so what were the things that i liked about the company first of all i like the size selection it's a very big selection especially for the professional books the second thing I liked was the nice print quality, especially in the standard books. I loved how vivid and, and uh, sharp they looked. I liked that they have so many paper options, the glossy and the standard the silk and the luster as well, so everybody can choose whatever they like the most. I like the editor, I think it's quite funky. The binding is really strong with all of these books. And finally, the price point is really good as well, especially if you get a discount like what's on now, the 86% off, then honestly, you can't get a better quality print for the same price. Now, a few things to watch out for, a few things that I think the company could improve on. The first thing is there are not too many templates. When I downloaded the, the app, it only had six or seven templates. I think the online one had a few more and you can download those into the software. But comparing it to Mixbook who has hundreds of templates, I think a few new ones would definitely be a good addition to the range. The second thing was the editor was a little bit too big of a file size. Um, so some people might not like downloading gigabyte files just to edit a photo book. So making it, I don't know, somehow a little bit smaller. But again, you can get around this problem if you use the online editor, which is not going to download anything onto your computer, but you have to upload all your images before editing the books. And the thing that I missed the most from the range was cover options. So all of these books come with a nice, lovely, um, image rep hardcover which you know can come in the matte and the glossy finish but for something like the lay flat book you would really want to have a linen option a leather option so these are my pros and cons for these books i think it was really easy to create the books i was very happy with the print quality i was happy with the general build of the book and the company as i said offers a huge range of sizes and it's very good prices especially if you get a deal like what's on now at the website so go on try them out if you have any questions leave them in the comments box i try to answer them if you want to read more about this company or see more up close images go on to my blog thephotobuguru.com and there's a link in the description below where you can see more up close images of the paper and the cover and you know the materials used in the books don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more reviews and photo book material thank you very much for watching see you soon